Oh Orban, you truly are the maestro of European political theatre. Once again seizing the spotlight in a gripping two-day summit marked by two crucial votes, whether to initiate Ukraine and Moldova accession talks and whether to allocate 50 billion euros in military aid to Ukraine. Everyone thought Orban would veto both big EU proposals, but in a surprising move he only said no to the 50 billion euros in military aid and let the Ukraine-Moldova EU talks go ahead. He didn't really approve it though. He just left the room during the vote, a planned move, so the decision could go through with 26 yes votes and one abstention. This past month has been packed with political twists and turns, and we're going to cover all of that in this edition of EU Flash, where we bring you quick and clear updates on EU news. The saga began in late November, when Orban sent a letter to the President of the European Council. In his letter, Orban called for strategic discussions before making any decisions on Ukraine funding, starting EU accession talks, or adding more sanctions against Russia. In simpler words, he strongly hinted that he would use his veto power against supporting Ukraine in the pivotal vote scheduled for the 15th of December. At the start of December, the diplomatic dance to woo Orban was in full swing. The council president even cut his trip to China short to address the issue and meet with the EU leaders. Next up, French President Emmanuel Macron rolled out the red carpet with a fancy dinner in Paris, all part of the charm offensive to nudge Orban's opinion. But just a few days before the crucial vote, Orban was still strongly opposed to the EU's plan. A álláspontja jelenleg az, hogy Ukrajna gyors felvétele az Európai Unióba beláthatatlan következményekkel járna. Ukrajna gyorsító pályán történő csatlakozása nem szolgálja sem Magyarország, sem az Európai Unió érdekeit. Then literally one day before the vote, the European Commission released 10 billion euros in EU funds to Hungary. For context, last year the European Union froze over 30 billion euros of EU funds to Hungary due to concerns about breaches in the rule of law, including issues with judicial independence, corruption and mismanagement of EU funds. Then on the 14th of December, Hungary made a U-turn and surprisingly allowed the Ukraine and Moldova EU accession talks to officially start. Such a coincidence, right? We think not. There was very likely a behind-the-scenes deal where the EU agreed to release funds in exchange for Hungary's support on these issues. Regarding the 50 billion euros in military aid, the Dutch Prime Minister expressed confidence that Hungary will retract its veto by the end of January, most likely timed with another 10 billion euros in funds flowing to Hungary. The European Commission has of course firmly denied any such agreement, attributing the financial release to Hungary's judicial reforms made last summer. However, multiple non-profit organizations and major groups of the European Parliament remain skeptical and have called for more substantial reforms in Hungary. Here's what we think. While it's clear that the Ukraine isn't quite ready to join the EU just yet, initiating negotiations seems like a logical step forward. Of course, different opinions on this matter are valid and welcome. However, we believe Orban's opposition appears to be more about leveraging for EU funds rather than policy considerations. We believe this situation brings to light a larger issue, the need for EU reform. The current unanimity requirement allows a single member state to have disproportionate influence, even blackmail as seen in this case. Check out this video to see a current reform proposal making its way through the EU, which we believe will solve a lot of these issues. But what do you think? Was the EU right to release a 10 billion euros so that Ukraine could be adequately supported? Or should the EU have called Orban's bluff? Let us know in the comments. And if you like quick and simple news about the EU, then please subscribe to the channel. Until next time.